Hi, everyone. It is a great pleasure to share my passion for artificial intelligence and exponential finance with you. AI has flown beneath the radar for the first six decades of its development. And just recently, it's exploded into public consciousness. But what may not be as obvious is that what's emerging is an intimate symbiosis between machine intelligence and human intelligence. All of you have heard about the win of Alphabet's AlphaGo system over the world champion in Go, Lee Sedol. This match took place in March in Korea. AlphaGo won four games to one, and it created what is now known as AlphaGo shock. Just to be clear about this, if you compare chess, which has an average number of potential moves per turn of about 37, and Go, which has an average number of potential moves per turn about 200 to 250, the fan-out factor is amazing. Every one of those potential moves has 250 after that. You can't even throw a supercomputer at that problem. So it's not surprising that the Go community was absolutely shocked when this win occurred. But South Korea recovered very quickly, and a week later, they announced that they were going to invest $3 billion for AI R&D. That number is astonishing, really astonishing. A lot of the press said, well, you know, it's just a game. There's not much transfer learning. It doesn't really matter. Except that win occurred in March of 2016, and in January of 2016, some people at the University of Toronto published a paper on transfer reinforcement learning, and they had a system that was able to play multiple games, uh, Atari games, and if they were racket games, they could transfer their knowledge from a ping pong game to a badminton game, for example. So there is transfer learning. And just a week ago, Jeff Bezos from Amazon announced that he has more than 1,000 people working on Amazon's Echo Connected Speaker and their intelligent agent, Alexa. That is a virtual army of people working on AIs, a real symbiosis between machine intelligence and humans. It's totally disrupting the playing field. All of these technologies are utterly disrupting the playing field. Make no mistake about it. This is not just game-changing technology. The very ground we're standing on in fintech is disrupting. One of the key algorithms for this is deep learning, which has been the champion machine learning algorithm since 2006. It was pioneered by Jeffrey Hinton at the University of Toronto. Let me just show you a little bit about how it works. You can imagine this as a hierarchical feature extraction system. If you start with a series of pixels, on the first stage, it may recognize just edges, horizontal lines and vertical lines and diagonal lines. On the second stage of the hierarchy, object parts, like noses and ears and mouths and eyes. And then in the third stage, objects, like faces. And it's not just limited to three layers in the hierarchy. Microsoft recently announced a system with 152 layers. And why is that important? Because the more layers, the more ability to make fine discriminations in features. All of this is being fueled by the increasing pace of AI investment and acquisition. From 2011 through 2015, over $3 billion were invested specifically in AI-related companies, not just fintech as a whole, but AI and machine intelligence. And during the same period, over 100 related companies either merged or were acquired by the typical suspects, IBM, Google, now called Alphabet, Facebook, Amazon, and Apple, and Baidu, and others.